Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video I am going to give an analysis of the numerical problems that have appeared in the high secondary final paper of the Assam High Secondary Education Council board examination. So here goes the analysis. So we are starting from the year 2012. In 2012 there was a question based on finding the wavelength and frequency from the electromagnetic wave equation. Now this is from example 8.3 page 278. Then calculating the magnetic field for from a current carrying wire. This is uh, from question bank numer uh, numerical problem 3. Magnetic field for a current carrying wire question bank numerical problem number 3. Numerical problem number 3 means from this chapter moving charge and magnetism numerical problem number 3. Similar question is there. This was not the exact question. Okay. Magnetic Lorentz force, this is a formula based question, but this question was neither in your question bank nor in your NCRT. Then again energy and charge on capacitor, formula based question, energy released in fusion, this is again formula based question. Then there was a question on Young's double slit experiment, this is again a formula based question. Okay. So this is 2012. Now moving on to 2013. In 2013, there was a question on calculating the energy in capacitor. Now this is a formula based question, this question bank numerical problem and uh, question number 21, this is similar question. Okay. Inductor in AC circuit finding XL and IRMS, example 7.2 page 239, finding wavelength and frequency from equation of electromagnetic wave. So this question is similar question was repeated in 2012 and 2013. So question bank numerical problem number 12. Series LCR AC circuit, uh, you have to calculate resonant frequency and current at resonance. This is again a formula based question. Modulation index uh, example 15.2 page 525. Okay. Now you will see that this modulation index questions have come based on the concept of modulation index, the formula of mod modulation index and those questions were from NCRT. Okay. So next moving on to 2014. So in 2014, there was a question on length in contact, calculating the equivalent focal length. This is again a formula based question. Einstein's photoelectric equation, example 11.2 page 396. Then question on flux phi equal to E dot A, this formula this is a question bank problem, numerical problem number 15. Okay. So if I am uh, saying that numerical problem number 15, that means you have to see that particular chapter, question bank, that particular chapter, that particular number lens formula calculating image size for concave lens this is a formula based question but uh, there is a slight error in the english translation you may uh, the actual question you have to read from the asmis medium okay in english they have there is a slight error and then there was question based on this formula mu is equal to sin a plus delta m by 2 divided by sin a by 2 uh, mu a and mu and a were given delta m was to be calculated this is a question bank based numerical problem number 7 finding binding finding binding energy exercise 13.3 page 462 lr circuit finding re reactance impedance across inductor this is a question bank uh, problem a numerical problem number 2 from the chapter alternating current okay next is uh, 2015 2015 there were a lot of numericals there were coulomb's law force between electron and proton this is a question bank problem numerical problem number one charge and energy stored in inductor this is a formula based question stretched wire variation in resistance this is a question bank problem uh, numerical problem number 17 but similar problem okay uh, p equal to v square by r finding r this question bank problem numerical problem number 26 then there was a question on series lcr circuit finding peak current this is again a formula based question LR AC circuit finding frequency impedance peak current this question bank uh, question uh, numerical problem number one similar question okay there was slight change in the values dual nature radiation matter number of photons and power was given finding wavelength this is example 11.1 page 396 there was a similar question okay now then again there was a question on dual nature same chapter de Broglie wavelength of electron revolving in Bohr orbit this is again a formula based question Calculation of binding energy, exercise 13.4 uh, page 462. Then the formula beta is equal to delta IC divided by delta IB. 
beta is the amplification factor change in character current divided by change in base current. So, they were asked to find the value of change in the base current. This is a question bank problem, numerical problem number 8, there is a similar question. 12 Doppler effect example 10.1 page 359. Now, you will see that this question was repeated, Doppler effect problem, this was repeated. Okay. So, now next is 2016 work done, uh, calculation of work done, charge into potential difference, this formula base question was asked, example 2.1 page 55, this is a similar question, potential meter base question, exercise 3.12 page 128, he developed in parallel combination of resistor, this is a formula based question, cut off second law based circuit question, this is again a concept based question, cut off junction rule based question. This is from a question bank, numerical problem number 25, Einstein's photoelectric equation uh, based question, example 11.2 page 407, maximum distance between antennas, this is again a formula based question, evaluating modulation index, this is from your NCRT exercise 15.7 page 531, sharing of charges in charge conductors when they are brought in contact, this is again a formula based question, compound microscope magnification. Question bank, numerical problem number 17, there is a similar problem. Lens combination in water medium, this is again a formula based question. Binding energy, example 13.6 page 450. Common emitter amplifier, calculating input voltage from amplification factor, this exercise 14.10 page 510. AC circuit, calculating inductance, this is again a formula based question. Young's double slit experiment distance for third fringe overlapping of fringes, this is exercise 10.6 page 383. Okay. So, now moving on to 2017, uh, first question, uh, conservative nature of electrostatic force, this is again formula based question, aerial magnification again formula based question, torque on magnetic dipole, uh, evaluating magnetic moment, this exercise uh, 5.3 page 200. There was two question based on this concept, then exercise 4.24 uh, page 171. Magnetic force on a current carrying conductor, exercise 4.23 page uh, 171, there is a similar question. Potentiometer evaluating potential gradient, exercise 3.10 page, uh, so, sorry, this is example uh, 3.10 page 123, there is a similar question. Resistance infinite ladder network, exercise 3.21 page 130, there is similar question, lens combination image position from object position, again this is a formula based question, refracting type telescopes, size of sun was asked, again exercise 9.14 page 346, there is a similar question, Gauss law based question, uh, this is example uh, 1.12 page 36, this is a similar question, okay. Now coming to 2018, again 2018 there were lot of numericals point of zero electric field for two point charges, this is again a concept based question. Equivalent resistance, again concept based question, resistors were given, you are asked to find the calculator, the equivalent resistance. Electromagnetic wave, uh, finding B, example uh, 8.2 page uh, 278, there is a similar question. Young's double slit formula experiment based question, finding D, example 10.3 page 366, there is a similar question. Loss of energy due to sharing of charges, exercise 2.11 page 88, meter bridge determination of resistance, example 3.9 page 121, potentiometer potential divider, example 3.10 page 123, uh, dual nature, example 10.1 page 396, evaluating de Broglie wavelength, same chapter again, example 11.4 page 401, emitter, common emitter amplifier calculating input voltage. This is repeated in 2000, this was repeated in 2016, example 14.10 page 510, common emitter circuit based question, this is a formula based question, Doppler's effect, this question was repeated in 2015, example 10.1 page 359. So, based on this analysis, we can see that in 2018, uh, most of the questions were from uh, NCRT textbook and uh, 2017 questions were either from NCRT textbook or from question bank. And prior to that, there were questions uh, that have come which were neither in your NCRT textbook nor in your question bank. 
so uh, my uh, advice is like to have, have a good uh, grasp over the physics subject first of all you complete the ncert textbook and then the question bank follow all the questions from the ncert textbook at the end of the exercise solve all the examples and uh, try out all the questions that are there in your uh, question bank in addition to solving questions from on the past uh, say from 2012 to 2018 okay and uh, but uh, the ultimate thing is see uh, solving n number of questions or infinite number of questions is not going to give you marks in your board examinations the thing is if you have uh, your concepts fundamentals very strong then you will, will not face much difficulty so the essence is to make your concepts strong so try to understand the concepts learn by understanding the concepts okay and solve questions to improve your uh, confidence not to memorize the solutions okay so with this uh, advice i hope you do well in your board examination my best wishes